Hi, I'm Logan and I'm Robert. Today we will be talking about the four series solution system. So I'm going to show you how to put the solution into the solution tank using side fill. We will be pushing on using a nurse pump. First, you will connect your tender truck to our side fill valve. You will push the button on the lower right hand of the keypad that opens the uh, valve on the bottom of the solution tank. Manually open your valves on the sprayer and off of your nurse tank. And then using the pump, we will push the product through our main solution strainer. Goes up to the set of T valves. Goes to the solution pump into the bottom of the tank. While it is doing that, it also deadheads against the eductor rinse valve and will also deadhead going out to your individual section valves. On the machine itself, I can show you the same thing we just saw on the display. This will be our manually open valve going into our solution system. Our main tank strainer is right behind it. This would be our keypad with our button we want to push to open that valve on the bottom of the tank. Underneath the machine, this is our main solution valve. Our solution comes in here, it's to our solution pump, and it actually just goes straight up into the bottom of the tank. This is our front fill set up on the four series sprayers. We've got the main valve turning on and off. We also have an air valve where when you pump on or pull on your product, you can blow it into your tank so that you don't have line or fluid sitting in your front fill line. We have our sump switch here that we can go one click to the middle, opens the sump, and then you can pump on with a nurse pump, or we can hold this switch up and it'll it's a dead man switch for the pump so that it'll pull on from your trailer if you don't have a nurse pump. This is the automated uh, valve for the front fill that will actually open up to allow you to pump on your product into the solution tank. When you hold the dead man switch, it will open this valve and also this valve, and then it'll kick your pump in to help pull on solution. Also, this valve is also opened when you use a nurse pump to pump on from your trailer. When pulling on solution with the sprayer pump, we want to push this button down here, which will show that our valve is on. And we can also select the severity or speed of the pump here with three different settings with this button. And this button to slow it down. When pulling on, this will show your pump RPM. And it'll also show how many gallon are in your tank as you're filling. And when you reach your desired gallons, just push that button, shuts the pump off and the valve, and you're ready to go. Since we're on the topic of filling the machine, we can also use a target fill setup, and then we can use the keypad here. So it's got, we want to set this to a thousand. So we go one, zero, 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 and that sets our target fill. So it'll only pull on a thousand gallon and it'll shut the pump off. This stainless steel rod and ball is our float for our target fill. When that ball comes up to where it supposedly reaches a thousand gallon, it'll shut the pump off. In some instances, you may have to put a product in after your tank is full. With this, we will use the ductor to do so. So we have solution in the tank already. We push our eductor button on our keypad. You can choose the level of eduction, one, two, or level three. Your sump valve will open. It opens your bypass valve and the eductor valve. So we're running solution across through here, which creates a venturi. When we run the eductor and open our manual valve off of the eductor, once we have our chemical in it, it will pull that solution out of the eductor chamber and put it into the bottom of the solution tank. There is a check valve at the bottom of the solution tank to prevent solution coming back down and flowing into the eductor. 
So to run our eductor, we want to push our eductor on button. That will turn on our solution pump and ramp up the engine RPMs. We come down here, we can open this rinse valve so that we are getting all the chemical down off of the sidewalls of the eductor. Put our product in here. Once we have our product in there and solution is flowing, we open up this valve and it will take it back to the solution tank. Inside the eductor, there is this jug rinse valve so that you make sure you get all of your chemical out of your chemical jug. You can put it down on there and actually push down and it will shoot solution up to the inside of the jug to make sure it's cleaned out. Show you the solution flow going out to the boom from the solution tank. You will set your desired target rate from the display. Our solution tank valve will open, allowing product to flow to the solution pump. and it goes through our boom strainer, one of them through our high flow and our orifice valve, out to our section control valves to where it turns on and sprays out the boom. While this is lit up, this line coming off of the top of the pump to the top of the tank is an air bleed line for the solution pump. If you are having problems with your solution pump priming, it is a good idea to remove this fitting from the top of the pump and make sure that it is clean and going up to the top of the tank. So on the machine itself, here's another strainer that you wanna make sure is cleaned if you're having flow issues or anytime you're switching products, you need to remove it and clean it. So we come across here, we have dual flow meters since this is a high flow machine. This flow meter valve here turns on and off your high flow flow meter, which you also have to tell the monitor that you did so. Back here is your orifice valve. Anything under 26 gallons a minute, you wanna have this orifice valve closed. There's actually a hole in the center of it, so product is still going through, just not as much. Sometimes if you're right around that 15 gallon the acre mark, you may have to run this in the half position, but you still need to tell the monitor that it is turned on. Right back here is our shutoff valve for our boom itself. So this is our high flow, high pro pump. This is that air bleed line that I was talking about that can be plugged and cause your pump to have priming issues. Also while on the topic of the solution pump, there is usually two times per season you need to calibrate the solution pump. First is when you're running fertilizer as your main carrier, you want to calibrate using the fertilizer. And another time is when you switch back to a water as a carrier. Um, when we switch from high to low flow or anywhere in between, we need to tell the monitor that we changed our manual valves on the outside of the machine. If we come in here on our main sprayer page, click here, and over here where it says standard flow, it gives us a good description of how our valve should be set and at what those gallons per minute that we're looking for. So we would simply just change by clicking that and we're done. If for any reason you're having problems with your rate, Sometimes it is a good idea to come back here and check your flow meters to make sure that they are clean. So you'll want to shut off your solution valve back here and you can simply unscrew the flow meter and pull it out. If you are running low flow, you have an excellent diagnostic tool here because you have two flow meters. If you think you have a flow meter problem, just take them out, switch them from one side to the other, change your plug-ins, and then this silver tag has a calibration number on it. You want to make sure that you change that calibration number in the monitor. The KF number is your calibration number you were looking for. So where this shows 577.8, you would actually round that number up to 578. 
To change the flow meter calibration values, you wanna go into your display, main menu. We go to calibrations and procedures. Then we wanna come down here to our spray tab. And then right here we'll see flow meter calibration. Click on that. And right down here is where we can change those factors from one side to the other if we swap them or if we replace a flow meter. To calibrate the pressure sensors on the solution system, we go into the calibration page, select solution pressure sensor calibration, read the calibration requirements as needed, calibrate, just follow the on-screen instructions, the next button, and it'll calibrate the pressure sensors. To calibrate the solution pump, select solution pump calibration, read through the requirements, click calibrate. When you hit the next button, calibration will continue automatically and complete automatically. And then your solution pump is calibrated for your solution density. This is the check valve where your airline comes in for your boom air purge. Um, a lot of times if you're using clay based products such as atrazine, it can get packed in there and it will cause this to drip from here. So you might have to take the fitting out, spray it down with brake clean, clean it out, then put it back in. This is your boom pressure sensor. And this is the solution pump pressure sensor. To fill your rinse tank, you simply just hook your hose to this valve, open it, and it fills your rinse tank. On the machine, this is where you will fill your rinse tank. Hook your hose here, open this valve, and your rinse tank on a R4045 is located on top of the solution tank. If you have any further questions on your 4 Series solution system, please contact your local Landmark dealer.